How's it go going, Gluttony AOE? Hope you're having a wonderful morning. Bishop F5 played. We'll trade. Um, I can play G4. I can also play Knight G3. I think I'm going to play G4 and just plop the Knight on G3. How's it going, Calculated Blunder? How's it going, Morgan21? Hope you hope you all are having a wonderful morning. Uh, it was it was not my intention to be streaming this early. Um, not even in the least, but I am. But at 2300, or not 2300, sorry, 3000, I should wake up. Um, it wants to play some Blitz. So if a 3000 wants to play some Blitz, who am I to say no? So, okay, let's go um, king e2 here. This is bishop e3 and king d3. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't actually intending to uh, stream at this hour. I was going to stream at 2 p.m. like I planned to. But like I said, if a 3000 wants to play chess with me, um, I, who am I to say no? If knight f3, I think I can play h3. I had knight f5 maybe as well. I don't really like what I've done to the position, but I still get a knight to f5. I have rook h1, rook g1. If takes, there's rook h1 to win pawn h7. Camera's out of focus. Okay, um, so let me deactivate it and activate it. And now we, sh we should be good again. Um, sorry, you guys, about the minor technical issues. Um, but yeah, sometimes uh, sometimes I've noticed this is, this is a problem. They, the camera just goes out of focus. Play rook, uh, rook g1, hit the knight. Knight is kind of boxed in here. He has to go knight h4. Play h3 important to fix the pawn on a, um, on a dark square. Now we're going to go f3, bishop f2, and rook e1. Probably he'll play rookie eight to play for rookie three. This shouldn't really be a big issue. Let's just go rookie one. Just trade, play rookie one. And for b6, I think just b4, b5 is good. A5 is also an idea too. Um, okay, he takes the problem for black here is I think bishop d2 is probably just winning. For stars, just I'm up a pawn in all these endgames with b3, c4 to create a pass pawn. I can maybe just trade even. He's got double h pawns, which isn't really going to work very well for him. Let's go king e3. Thank you to thank you to Matt Mendez 2000 for the sub. He goes king g5, f4 is good, but even just b3 and c4 should be winning. f4 just king d3. Um, I mean, he's trying to get some kind of weird box here, but I don't think it works. Because f4 just king d3. And I, I don't feel like declining a 3000. If 3000 is ready to play blitz, um, I really shouldn't. I mean, I always should be ready to play. So let's go c6. Let's just play. Okay, everything is good here. I mean, h6, rook e8. I'll play rook e8 this time. Go h6 to force him to decide what he's doing with the bishop. He goes bishop f4, completely reasonable move. We'll just play bishop e6. I think I'm going to go knight d7, knight c5 at some point. He goes knight e2. He wants to put the knight on d4 here. I think bishop d6 is fine. Um, c5 is probably not best. Knight d7 is playable. Which one do I want to go for? I guess is the real question. I'm gonna guess I'll just play Bishop B6 trade and C5. Keep it really, really simple. Okay, now I'll play C5, force him to trade. Am I gonna stream all morning? I don't know. I mean, it depends how many games he wants to play. If if I play Robert Chess Smooth like 10 games or 20 games, I'll probably be around for quite a bit. If not, then it's probably gonna be um, a slightly shorter stream. Okay, let's play Rook B8, Rook B4, put pressure on the Bishop. Or actually, Rook B6 is A5. Everything is playable here. Actually, I was about to play knight to seven and hang a bishop. That wouldn't have been ideal. So let's go rook b6, try to take with the rook. Um, also, c4, maybe now I can take because this isn't such a huge deal with the rook supporting the bishop on d6. Napoli 548 says, good to see you again. Good to see all of you guys. Nice, nice, uh, nice morning here. Okay, play c4 so I can take. I can also just take on... Um, I think I'm gonna take on c4. I'm not sure what's going on here. He's probably gonna take with the bishop. He can take with the pawn, but then this, this bishop is bad on d3, so he does take. Let's go queen e7. If he moves the knight, I take the rook twice, and I've got two rooks for the piece. If he takes, I just take. So we'll pre move rook d6. Let's go. Am I gonna win 960? Um. Okay, plays bishop d2, so he wants to move his knight. Very, very nice move here. Um, I can maybe play queen e4, knight e4 also. Queen e4, so what is wrong with queen e4? I don't see anything wrong. So he moves the knight. Um, I can just take, and my knight supports my rook on e8. So even though he exchanges, he's going to end up with these double f pawns on f2 and f3 if he moves the knight. So he takes, 
So let's take what the rook hit the pawn on c4 here. Probably rook c1, but then rook b2 is a problem. He's going to be losing material everywhere again. So yes, you guys, I am in, I am in, um, I'm in Sunrise, Florida right now. I will be leaving tomorrow and heading to Colorado. Um, so, so yeah, it's going to be a, a busy like 24 hours. You're probably going to hear like, a, you're probably going to hear my laundry machine start beeping in like five or 10 minutes as well. So uh, there might be some, some loosey goosey breaks in the middle here. Uh, Quan 319 says I stay on Sunrise Boulevard. Um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm off of Panther Parkway. So um, yeah, it depends where on Sunrise Boulevard. Um, Are there any bullet turns OTB or would that be too chaotic? That would be a little bit too chaotic. Okay, he wants to go bishop c3 and cheese me. So we're going to six. If I take, he's going to take. I can also... No, I can't take. Okay, let's just grab. I don't believe him. Um, it's a pawn, and as the saying goes, pawn is pawn. My bishop is better than his knight as well. I've got like rook e4 and c4, c3, rook a4 as well. Um, right next to Sawgrass Mills. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so I can take, and we both have double pawns. Um... I don't really want to take. I could also play rook d4. Force an exchange. I don't really want to take here, but you know what? Let's just take. Now we've both got double pawns. He's going to try to like double on the eighth, I guess. Let's go king g7 first. Okay, now we'll play rook d4. Try to trade some rooks. King issue is definitely wrong. He should have gone immediately with rook e7 or rook e8. Because now the problem, I think, is that my rooks are better than his rooks here. Play rook c6 and force him to plant something here. Okay. Play rook c5. But now I play f5 and I get rid of one of my double pawns, which is good news. Go a5, just put the pawn further up the board. Okay, so he plays this, which I think is wrong. Just go f5 and king f6. Ba, ba, bum, ba. Okay, we'll just take. I think king e4 and rook d3 is a big threat, so he's gonna check me. Now if he checks, I'm just gonna keep running in and push this pawn up the board. Okay, just c2, king c3 is coming, and uh, king b2, and this is just game over. Oh, I also have rook d1, so I'm just winning on the spot. Um, this for king a3. I slightly misplayed this, but I mean, this still should be winning. Maybe it's not so simple. Oh, I've got to move though. I've got to move. Go a4. Go a3. Go rook b5. Force a trade. I think king b3 and a2 should be winning. Now I take, so I've got check. And that's game over. Play knight f3. Go e3, c4, why not? Ba, ba, bum, ba. Ba, ba, bum, ba. Ba, ba, bum, ba. Um, okay, let's just castle. Um, I think I'll play b3 bishop. Oh my gosh, I just blundered. Whoops. He missed it. I, he had some queen c7 with bishop h2 and an exchange on d4, and he was just flat out better. Um, he missed he missed it, luckily, so we're still we're still in the game. Let's play queen d2. Bishop e6. I can play like knight b5, but I don't really love it. Knight a4 is always there. I think I'm just going to go bishop f3, try to put pressure on the diags instead. Um, and now I think I will go knight b5. Thank you so much. This this 85 for the four months. Bishop is good. It's on the diag. It also prevents knight e4, um, which would hit my queen and cause me all kinds of issues. We'll make the safe true move queen b2. Now I'm going to put the knight on d4, I think, or c... Uh, no, actually c3 just goes d4 right away. So I'll just put the knight here. So rook d1. Probably trade, I'll take. Just play h3, force him to, to take. I'm gonna go rook d4 and rook d1. Pretty pretty standard boilerplate stuff here. Uh, that's a free exchange, my friend. Thank you very much. 
Thank you, Professor Pass, for the eight month resub. So he plays queen c8. Let's just go queen b2. Try to take the c file for some kind of exchange here. If knight e4, I think I just take. Because on rook c2, I just take and I've got a back ranker. I can play h6, but after rook... What? Just back ranker, bro. Um, all right. That's another win. The knight of six takes. Bishop b4. He goes, goes h3 again. We'll play more of the same. I mean, I didn't really play the last game very well. Let's just play h6. And maybe like bishop d6 to try and exchange. I'll go. We're going to do something very similar. Just like rook b8, rook b4, bishop e6, rook e8. Once again, pretty standard. Let's play rook b4 here. I'll go knight e2, I assume. No, he takes. Okay, so we take. At some point, he's going to go knight e2. I just don't know when. Probably now, yeah. Now he'll go knight e2. Let's just play rook e8, c3, rook b7. Pretty standard again. He goes c4. Okay, c4 is a problem now because I can't take the fish page 7. Um, I guess I can play queen c5 maybe. Queen c5, knight f4 could be an issue. Let's just drop the bishop back, open up the diac, open up the file rather. Thank you, Alpen um, uh, Pentel Cory, for the gifted sub to Black's. 615, thank you so much. Good morning to the one and only Chess Bay as well. It's nice and early in Mordor. Um, I have G5 ideas somewhere. Maybe maybe I'll take and play G5. Doesn't look right, but let's just take and play like A5. Support the Rook, A4 is an idea here. I cover the back rank mate threat, so there are no actual mate threats here on the eighth rank. He also can't take because the knight hangs on F4. Seriously, dude? Like, for Rizzle? Is you for Rizzle, my friend? Oh, a Rizzle, my for Rizzle, dude. That's like just not very good. Let's play Knight of 3, E3, and C4 here. Knight C3. He'll probably play C5 again. Okay, he goes B6 this time. Uh, let's still play B3. Play bishop b2. Okay, we'll take here. He'll take with the pawn. I guess let's play classic d4, like classic, classic standard bishop d3. Let's just castle. Of course, Ikar never disappoints. Chess base says it seems like this 3000 is weak as weak as f. Um, he was doing fine against me the other night, actually. He was, I, we played, I think, um, when I was in Paris, maybe the last night. So, um, he's 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 decent. Okay, um, which way do I want to take is question number one. I'm going to get a little bit cheeky here and take. This is probably not correct, but I'm going to go for it. Uh, try to put the knight on c4 and just trade. Maybe he's low on sleep. I mean, I should be a lot lower on sleep than he is. It's like not even 9 a.m. here. Um, play d5 or knight d6. Um, just take. Takes with the pawn. I didn't actually expect that. Okay, let's go d5 here. Try to access this diagonal here. It's just begging. This diagonal is calling out my name that it wants me to do something here. Okay, I can play h3, but I thought now I go knight e2. And now the problem here for black is the knight no longer attacks. So now my knight's coming to f4, d4. I also activated my bishop. It's uh, really, really nice. Yeah, this is Hofen. Is this Hofenistian? I, I, I always get all the Armenians confused. There are too many... Too many strong Armenian GMs. Let's play Knight of 496. Ideas coming. Goes Rook F6. Okay, so I can take on, on E5 if I want to. I think I'm just going to play Rook C1, though. Try to keep this really chill. Is this Arm Composer? Actually, I don't know. Actually, wait. Is this Arm Composer? I don't know. It is Hovenessian. Okay, so rook c8. Okay, now knight e6 is also a move that's really kind of begging to be played, but I don't see the follow up, so I think I'm going to start with um, a queen d4. I guess I'll play queen d4, try to put pressure on the bishop as well. 
Um, okay, plays knight d3. So he's trying to force an end game here. Now, I don't have to oblige, or I do. Yeah, I kind of do, I guess. I do have to oblige. Now, I can play f3 here. I also play bishop a3, but let's just keep it really slow and low key. I guess I'll play queen e4. That's the only move that really makes sense, but we can always just trade and go bishop bishop a3. Goes take, go bishop a3, put pressure on this pawn. Now we'll exchange this way. What is my viewer record? I think my viewer record is somewhere around 11,000. I think I achieved that during Norway chess at some point. Now the problem with this, or not problem, is that it's not actually clear. Is he, he's gonna be down two pawns. Rule of thumb says that all opposite color bishop endings are drawn, but I'm already up one pawn. I'm gonna be up two pawns because on bishop b7 to win the pawn, I go bishop c7. He pushes, now I go d6. Okay, now this I feel like has to be winning. If this isn't winning, there's something wrong with chess. Okay, now I can run my king up to like here, 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 here. Although it is way too early to be playing this kind of an end game. Um, I can also play g4, g5. Let's go g4, because I don't really believe he can come all the way in here. Like, he can try to run in, but I feel like he's going to be just too slow. Yeah, because if he tries king b5, king f4, king c5, I go to e5, king b4, king e6, and then d7. Um, and it's just winning. If he plays g5, he puts a pawn on a critical, um, critical dark square where I can play h4 and then, like, run in both ways. Go king f4. Keep, keep rolling up the board with the pawns. Okay, plays bishop d5. I think I'll go king g5 here. And now maybe does bishop a5 look good? Bishop a5 looks good enough, so I'll go takes. So I'll go bishop c3, hit the pawn, g6, king h6. This must be winning. Um, yeah, this has to be winning. Just king h7, king g6. Run the h pawn up the board, and that's all she wrote. Take. And king g5, and this has to be winning. Um, now, go h5. Uh, king g6 and h7. GG, my friend. Game over. All right, king g6, h7. That was a lot easier than it should have been, but it's still a win. So let's go again. Let's stick to e5 for right now since it's been working. Um, okay, plays, let's play g6. Let's do something different. Is Hikaru graying? No, I'm not. I'm not graying. It's um, actually though. I will say with the camera with the camera angle, it sure does look pretty. Uh, it does look kind of weird. It does look weird. You're right. Actually, with the camera angle, my hair looking a little bit ugly. It does look kind of like I am graying. You're you're not wrong on that. It does look like that. Okay. Um, all kinds of moves are played. I think I'm gonna go bishop g4 and just take. I'll play knight f6 first. Go knight d7, knight c5 ideas here. I'm gonna go play knight c5 first just to hit the bishop. Funny thing is here, I did want to trade. Now I kind of don't want to trade. So I'm not gonna trade. I'm gonna go back to d7. Okay, so he's trying to cheese me with b4. I'm not gonna I can't let that happen. Let's hit the rook. I think I've got knight d3. Yeah, knight d3, because if he takes, I take and I hit the rook, and then I can just drop back and go to d7. No, I'm not grain, but you you guys are right. My hair... Actually, is my webcam is my webcam out of focus again? My webcam's out of focus again, isn't it? Okay, let's take... Um, I think I have a patch for this actually, but I can't remember where it is exactly. Um, where's the file? I think I have a patch somewhere for this, but, um, I, I don't want to lose this game on time. So let's, let's try to, oh, I'm way down on the clock. Let's just castle. No, I'm good now, but it's going to go offline.
It goes knight c4. Um, I have bishop h6 here, but I'm gonna play b5. I don't. I don't know if I trust this exchange sacks. He's gonna get a queen to h6 and like knight g5. Well, I mean, he seemingly doesn't care, so let's just play bishop h6. Probably he'll go queen e1, I'll take, and then I'll play like c5, at least that's my intention. Although maybe I'll just ignore it. I'm not sure that I really want this exchange, but we'll see. Okay, he plays queen e1. No, you know what? I, I'm, I'm going to say, you know what? I, I don't care about the exchange that much. I'd rather take a pawn, play c5, break it up. Okay, now I'll play c5, of course. Oh, you can just take a4. What? Oh, whoops. Oh, whoops. Okay, he takes this way. Okay, so now we're just in a very drawish kind of middle game. Um, let's play rook c8, rook c6. With knight d4, just rook c4. Um, rook c4 and hit the knight. Thank you, Parthenope Chess, for the four month resub. Thank you so much to Parthenope Chess. I have queen. Let's go to b6, just because here it's dual threat. F6 was kind of a dual threat as well, but I argue, I'm going to argue with the king on um, king on g1. This makes more sense. Okay, let's play rook e8, put pressure on the pawn. Oh, did I just blunder? Um, I almost just blundered, I think. Luck that rook before, he's got no trickery here. No trickery anywhere, because he loses the pawn at e4. Now, actually, he's got big issues. This bishop g7 just hit the knight. Queen b6 as well. Um, and also, I, again, I thought the queen on this diag is better than here, because even if I hit the pawn here and the pawn at f2, I don't attack the king on g1 from the f6 to a1 diagonal. So, um... Okay, so he goes king h1. I have d5, f5, bishop g7, rook c1. Rook c1 looks like an issue. Queen b6, rook c6, queen b8. But no, I don't see it. So let's just go bishop g7, rook c1, queen... Oh, he plays queen e3. Okay, I didn't expect that. Okay, let's go d5. Now he's no e5, so the bishop is perfect. This is going downhill in a hurry for Mr. Hofenistian. Thank you, Eric Viswanamanon. Uh, come on for the six-month resub. Thank you so much. Okay, queen e5, queen e4 is, is obviously fine. But let's just chill it out a little bit and go rook b7. I don't want to give any knights to six nonsense. Great. So rook e7. Oh, but he's got rook e6. Okay, he goes for an end game. But I'm way up on the clock here, so I should have no issues uh, drawing this. Or winning this, I mean. That's good. G4. He really has not played this very well. I think I just played g3 and king, king f5. Attack rook b2. Um, I think before. I think. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh, I just blundered that. Whoops. Okay, but I'll still flag him. Terrible, terrible, terrible. That was so terrible. That was that was horrendous by me. But whatever, it's still a win. 